playing Jimmy tonight? Yeah, yeah. As usual, I'll probably have about 99% of the crowd against me. <laughs> how, how well did you get on with Jimmy? Very well, very well. I've always got on um, really well. I mean, I've obviously known Jimmy now for... God, I've been a professional for 20 years and I, and I knew him before I turned pro. Um, he was the sort of first person I went to see in an exhibition when I was 14. You know, he was my favourite player then. We've always had a lot of battles down the years in, in, in the, the finals at the Crucible and things, but we've always had a drink afterwards and, and, and got on really well. I think one of his best qualities is, is after a match, you would never know if he's won or lost. He's got a tremendous temperament and um, you would never meet anyone to have a bad word to say about him. I think his, his attitude to the game is, is, even now when he's sort of sliding down the rankings a bit, his attitude is still the same and you would never know that he's sliding down the rankings because he's the same person. And what's been your greatest uh, battle with him? But, well, we had a few, obviously, World Championship finals. I think the one where, where you know, I won 18-17, I think he, obviously, he missed a, a, a black off a spot. He, you know, he, he twitched it a bit. He might not admit that, but he had a little twitch in the black and... Um, I managed to clear up, so that was probably the closest match we ever had. But we've had so many battles down the years. So he's a great guy. Fabulous, yeah. What is weird about Paul Gascoigne? Has he been on a bender? He's been arrested for um, beating a cameraman up outside a nightclub in London. It wasn't us. We met him in um, a Ricky Hatton boxing do. How long ago was that? About six months ago at Bristol. A charity one, yeah, he was. No, I met him downstairs at reception. I met him a couple of times before, and um, he came up to us and he said... Do his well, accent. He went, like, uh, Do his accent. <laughs> he went, he said, I've just been to fucking Dubai, and I've uh, yeah, been on the piss, and, uh, and he went on for about 20 minutes, and I got in the lift with Kevin, and I said, did you understand one fucking word of that? Because I never... Not a word. I, felt, I didn't know who he was at first. I felt know. so sorry for him then, and that was six months ago, and I think he just started drinking, and the poor fella, because he really does need... He needs help. You're drinking pints of bourbon. He needs, at the dinner. He needs, don't Pines. get grass, Kevin. Yeah. No, not grass, I'm sorry. Need, he edit that, sorry. Yes. Oh, he, yeah. but he, he really does him. need help, you know, God love him, because he's struggling, you know what I mean? Have you ever spoken to him yourself about his problem? No, because, you know, I have my own problems. You know, when I have a drink, you know, I binge drink, but um, he's like topping himself up. Mm -hmm. uh, he walked in the room, didn't he? He said, is any one of you fuckers going to buy a drink? There's 500 people in there. Yeah, he walked to the table and got the mic and he said, that's the first time in my fucking life I've walked through a room with 600 fucking people that have no fuck about me a fucking drink. Yeah. So that we knew then, speech. you know, so we knew then court, that he yeah. was he was drunk. So mm. it's like being drunk, but you've got to be drunk in the right place, haven't you? Have you ever sort of been drinking before matches? I used to drink all the time, big time before matches. And um, in between matches. <laughs> but it's no way for all you young snooker players out there, you know, you get yourself prepared properly, all your practice. Did it affect your play? No, it calmed me down a bit, if anything. You know, I didn't mind. Um, I have a couple of. Like, I've had one Budweiser tonight just to sort of take the edge off. I don't. Um, I couldn't drink more than that because I wouldn't enjoy, you know, the experience I'm going to have. You've never played in a blackout? Yeah, many times. I played definitely under the influence of um, not and one. The truth is, you know, I have played a few times where I feel that I've not had a drink, but I have had a drink. I've had about ten drinks, but uh, it's obviously it slows your reactions down, mm -hmm. your um, reflexes. So it's not a good thing, no. Regret any of that? Yeah, I regret loads of that. I regret not preparing, you know, and. Um, I have a lot of people around me who um, I looked after. It wasn't their fault, but I sort of run the situation. So, you know, if I decided to have a drink, no one was going to say, no, you're not, you've got to go to bed, <laughs> unfortunately. Must, must be great, though, still top of your game, still going out and... Oh, no, I love Stephen it. Henry no, I, listen, this is great. Have you been yeah, outside yet? Fantastic, yeah. Nice yeah. interview with Stephen Hendry. I've known him since he was 13, Stephen. I've got a lot of respect for him. He's a good boy. Yeah. That, uh, that frame, though, with it, you almost won it, does that kind of rankle with you? The black I missed against him, yeah. that's very frustrating. I really threw my cue at it. And, really? um, I was 14 8 up with him <laughs> once, and I was sort of getting my speech ready, who I liked, who I didn't yeah. like. And four yeah. knew where it was, it was 14 each. So I lost 18 14, I lost it all together then. But you looking forward to oh, it? Oh no, I'm up for sticking it up, Mr. Hendry, tonight. Yeah. I'm big time. But might have a drink with him afterwards? No, definitely not. <laughs>